Um, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for your testimony. Um, we've been working on this behind the scenes, and yet, once again, when I listen to the stories, it sends another chill that we need to do more and we need to do it quicker. Um, I guess from a, a evidence-based um, point of view, is there anything specifically we could do to help the district attorneys in terms of, because getting subpoenas of some of these images and everything else, is there, is there anything that we're failing to overlook just on the evidence side as opposed to the actual criminal statute itself? Some of the things you run into that we might not be working on now? I, I can't think of anything specifically. I can tell you that is definitely an issue um, when we try to get subpoenas. There, there are some apps that, that the perpetrators are using and um, some of them are not even in the United States. So when we're dealing with other countries to try to um, get the information, it's, it's a hit or miss situation sometimes as to what we're able to obtain through search warrants or, or through even the sometimes the kindness of the companies uh -huh. that we're dealing with. Yeah, I, I was just concerned because when we were, I was reviewing the language and then you said there's hidden apps on the phone, um, you know, that kind of concern me on how we're actually going to produce the evidence of the crime that we're trying to draft to make sure that we make it illegal. So, uh, But I appreciate your testimony. I appreciate your work on this and uh, look forward to working with the stakeholders to get something that will be helpful for you and the district attorney's office and for the victims.